Mark Scotty reporting on Brexit. EU plans for chaotic Brexit as UK remedies for no deal vote. Wow, no deal vote. They're going to walk off the table March 29th, quickly approaching for Brexit. Are they going to bow out gracefully or are they going to stumble, stumble out the back door and figure it out later? I don't know. So this is the story. But before we do that, a word from our sponsor. Once again, the word from our sponsor, the Truth Network. Marcus Conti reporting is our channel, the channel that uh, you've, you and I have come to love, right? So here's, the, here's all the, the exciting videos that I put out on a daily basis on my dime and some of your dime. <laughs> I uh, need to need to up the up the ante here, right? Fucking getting killed here, getting killed here, right? So Caesar Sayak and and all the the Patsy Bomber stuff, all of the FF stuff. You remember in the past the FF stuff when you could say it out loud and not get not get your channel down. Everything is demonetized now. Everything is 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 they're they're squeezing our testicles, trying to make us not speak, right? And as long as you're a Patreon, as long as we got a couple hundred Patreons. Then there's no problem. They could censor. They can demonetize all they want. We're still getting the message out. You follow? So, so kindly become a uh, Patreon. This is the best way to do it. You go here. You hit that button, right? You become a Patreon, right? We got 23 right now. We're trying to get it up to, to uh, uh, about 100 just for now to be safe, so we could get this number up. And because uh, I'm my my, I could see my ribs because I can't. Because, 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 uh, uh, lack of money, right? This is all they do right now. This is, this is time consuming. This is bringing you the news. It's very difficult. It's very, it's a, it's a lot of stuff going on here. So, also, uh, you can PayPal a one time shot right there by hitting that button. You see, Marcus Conti, PayPal me, right? And then you go next, and then it asks you something. I don't know, whatever. But, uh, so yeah, you know, you follow that, you follow that through, and everything's cool, right? And then we're, then we're cool, right? Uh, so so thank you very much for uh, for doing that. So here's here's Brexit. Let's talk about Brexit. Love we'll love it when the Brits vocalize. So check this out. Oh da. Oh da. Oh da. The eyes to the right, 242. The nose to the left, 391. Oh dear. Oh dear. The eyes to the right, 242. The nose to the left, 391. So the nose have it, the nose have it. Unlock. Bow. And that is the story. So no deal, no deal on the May, on the March 29th uh, referendum to, to Brexit, to get out of the EU, right? Because it's choking the British people, right? So let's read a little bit. London... Um, uh, Prime Minister, and I'm no European expert. I'm just going to read verbatim. I'm learning a lot of this myself. Brit, uh, Britain and uh, European Union braced Wednesday for a chaotic cliff edge Brexit after UK lawmakers rejected the two sides agreed divorce deal. Prime Minister was set to hold votes aiming to try to rule out the disruptive option or at least propo- uh, postpone it for now. So they don't want to. They don't want to just exit. And and then throw all those trade deals in the garbage. All the all the deals they have with the EU, how they manage their borders, it's very confusing, right? So they need they they're looking for a deal, but the EU is not really negotiating. They're like, look, it's this is you signed up for this. If you want to get out, then then and then uh, do it clumsily, right? Clumsy, right? And that's what's going to happen. I think that's what I think they should do. In my in my in my uh, uh, American view. But top EU, EU officials warned that the prospect could not be eliminated unless the UK Parliament approved an exit deal. The risk of a no deal has never been higher, EU negotiator Michael Browner said. I urge you, please, not to underestimate the risk of its consequences. So EU is, is, is warning the Brits about the, the potential, uh, the, the risk of uh, a no Brexit. That's usually an indication that that's exactly what you should be doing. The risk is on them. The European Union and the EU has has to has a lot to lose. Right? British people figure it out. You know, it's like it's like when we saved the banks, right? Well, you remember when we when we uh, when we saved the banks, we bailed out the banks in 08? What happened? They got bigger and stronger and more more vindictive. 
We should have let them fall, right? So Brits, they might be on to something, but just let it, let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fucking fall, man. Both British, uh, Britain and the EU ramped up plans for a no-deal Brexit, which would rip up decades of rules for travel and trade between Britain and the EU. Good. Economists say it could cause huge upheaval. Yeah, to the establishment. With customs, customs checks causing gridlock at UK ports. <sighs> that is stupid. New tariffs triggering sudden, pr- sudden price hikes and red tape for everyone from trucks to tourists. <sighs> Not true, man. Not true at all. Just I, Brexit. 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 The UK uh, government announced its plan for the Irish borders. All right, so I, I again, I'm no, I'm no goddamn, I'm no expert. I know a lot more about British music and punk than I do about about uh, British politics. But it does look like a a bumpy Brexit of some sort is approaching March uh, 29th, and they're not, they're not, you know, the um, Parliament EU is not. Brussels is not being negotiable. So this should be interesting as I think there's a few more votes that come down the pipe. I'm not really sure what they are leading up to March uh, 29th, but uh, this should be good. I mean, because it, if 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 Britain walks away from the EU with no deal, that is that is that is the, the death. That is a death sentence to the EU, not to England. England re-declares their independence, which they've done, you know, for centuries, right? They're, they're Britain again. They're, they're independent again, right? And you're going to see a, a kind of a, in my view, a domino effect. You'd have to be stupid to, well, France, France should get the hell out of there already. Why? Let Macron, hang Macron, get out of the EU and be France again. England will be England. France will be France. You've got Germany, Germany. The, the Italians are already... Already, like fuck you, EU. Right? So, so I think uh, I think the, the a, a no deal Brexit might be a good idea, but uh, we shall see. Marcus Conti reporting.